Maris coming at you again from Upper Mainline YMCA with another science experiment that you can do at home. Today we are going to make oobleck, which maybe you've heard of, maybe you haven't. It's one of my favorite things to make. All you're going to need is a bowl, a spoon, a little cup of water, and our main ingredient, cornstarch. So oobleck is something called a non-Newtonian fluid, which means that it's a liquid sometimes and sometimes it acts like a solid. So it's gonna be really cool once we actually make it, you'll see what I mean. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start by adding cornstarch into our bowl. Ooh, it's very powdery, of course. So we've got our cornstarch in here. You don't need a lot. Actually, I think I have a little bit too much in here. So I'm gonna take a little bit out and put it back in. Start with a little bit and then see what happens because sometimes you might need a little bit more to make the mixture the right consistency. So make sure you have a little bit of extra cornstarch just in case you need to add some more to kind of even out the balance. So from there, all I'm gonna do is add water. And I'm just gonna do this a little bit at a time because again, like I said, if I add too much water, it's not gonna work. So I wanna make sure that I go kind of slow. So I'm just gonna pour some of my water in and mix. The thing about this is that it's gonna be really hard to stir. That's kind of part of uh, what happens. So don't be concerned if it is really challenging to stir. If you're finding that it's hard to stir, you might be at the perfect point to be able to play with it. So I'm getting there right now. It's, it's almost gonna look a little bit like glue and it's gonna act a little bit sticky like glue, but it is pretty easy to clean up. So although I say it's sticky like glue, it's, it's really not too bad. So I've made mine pretty good, but I do need to add a little bit more. Like I said, remember, it does sometimes take a little bit more of the cornstarch to make this really work. So I'm gonna mix that in. Now we're getting somewhere. So it's really gonna start looking, I'll kind of show the camera here. See how it kind of breaks apart? It's sort of, it makes it feel like there's a solid in there, but there's not really. It's actually just the oobleck. So see how it kind of, it drips off just like that, but I can get some of it on my spoon. So see how it looks like glue? This is the consistency that you want. So I'm gonna show you what I mean by non-Newtonian fluid. If I poke it really hard, watch, my finger doesn't go into it. But if I go really slow, my finger goes right inside of it. So what we're gonna do is I can take a whole scoop of this out and put it into my hand. And if I move quickly, I can get it into a ball in the palm of my hand. But you see, if you go too slow, it's gonna start dripping again, just like that. So this is kind of a messy experiment. I would definitely recommend doing this on a tray, maybe even doing it outside, although it is pretty easy to clean up. So if some of this gets onto the table, all you really need to do is take your hand and scoop it and it's gonna come right back together and you can put it right back in the bowl. Um, if it gets on the floor, I would say just let it dry and then sweep it up later, no problem. Something really cool that you can do with this is if you have any kind of small toys, so I have this little Lego, you can really see how this works by putting the small toy into this. So I'm gonna show you. We're gonna drop this gal in and she should slowly, slowly sink. So what's really neat about this is, I'll put this in the description as well, but what you can do with this is you can actually let this dry so you can put something inside of it you can let it dry and then after it's all dried you can kind of break into it almost like a fossil and you're noticing on my hands already it's already kind of drying and crumbling so again pretty easy cleanup all you're gonna do is wipe this up it's just cornstarch nothing to worry about so this is our oobleck our science experiment for today a lot of fun just to play with but definitely add some toys to it to see what happens if you have any questions, let us know in the comments, and as always, stay curious.